Hey folks, Rob and Nathan, and we are Two, two guys, guys in a ride. ride, and we're out here at 2019 SEMA. What do you think so far, Nathan? Well, it is awesome. Yeah, hey, but hey folks, we got a lot of cool videos coming up for you, so yes, stay tuned. Do. Got one coming right now, but before you do, take a moment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell notification. So you never miss a video. What do you say, Nate? Let's, well, let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. All right. Hey folks, this is Nathan with Two Guys in Ride, and today we are here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the SEMA show. And we're with Mike and his awesome Honda Type R. Uh, except for it's had some modifications, just a few. It's just a Mike little says. bit far from stock, you know, just a, just a hair. So Mike, tell, tell <laughs> us about some of the stuff you've done here. Let's start with the front. So on the front here, um, of course the hood's pretty obvious. This yes. one's a Saibon hood. Got it direct from Saibon. Had to drive from Northern California to Southern California because I'm a little cheap, so I wanted to save some shipping. Yeah. You know, because who doesn't? I understand that. You could barely see peeking out right here if you want to get a little low. The, have the hella horns in here. Oh, because yeah. the stock Honda horns, um, they don't match the aggressiveness of the vehicle. Of the car, yes. <laughs> and this does. This does. I've heard those. When you press these, the whole block knows you're yes. behind them. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I have the arrow in the front here from BM Spec. I have a front mounted intercooler right here from InGen and I also have an InGen intake yep. okay. and then uh, I also have under the hood a Cusco front strut bar and okay. a Cusco tow hook and I'll show you guys. And yeah, show us, there's a, something interesting about this tow because it's not always mounted the way you do it. Yeah, so a lot of people. Mike did it right. He'll mount it to the front crash bar, and if you're in a crash, it's a crash bar. You know what? That's right. actually, you know, you mount it there. You want it on your frame. And just to show you how this is mounted correctly, I can step on it here because it's right on my frame. <laughs> awesome. So you got a different, uh, different, obviously different than stock rims. Yes. So we'll start off with the wheels here. So these wheels are Volk ZE40s in dash white. Uh, my build is a high contrast build, and it is dedicated to my dad. He, he did pass earlier this year. And, I'm sorry to hear that, Mike. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, but me and my dad, we wanted to build a car together, but he fell into bad health, and I said, you know what? I'm going to build a car my dad would be proud of. Absolutely. And these are uh, Volk ZE40s in dash white, which are pretty darn hard to come by. You can get them in other colors, but you know, white's a really popular color. Yeah. And then with the wheels here, uh, the wheels here, I'm uh, sorry, the tires. Uh, the tires here are BF Goodrich tires. It's a Sport Comp 2. And these are not the all seasons. They're around with the summer ones because okay. in the winter, this thing likes to sleep, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because yep. I would rather have more grip. So, yes. when, when yeah, it goes. And those tires are grippy, aren't they? They those are those very grippy. I, yes. I've noticed that with your, you know, most cars with just normal all season, but yeah. you get the summer tires. Wow. And it's Change. Nice day. Yep. And uh, if you want to see right here, we have a collaboration with tire stickers. So this is uh, the first of the tire stickers made for, exactly for Team Hybrid. Team Hybrid has been working in collaboration with many companies. And um, we'd just like to, you know, kind of bring it to the next level. Yeah. You know, I, I, I really like the black and white. Thank you. Theme that, you, that you've, you know, you worked hard to get that carried out throughout the whole thing. So then that is, yeah, you can just see it everywhere. Totally. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's talk a little bit about the interior because you've done some things in here. First of all, you, you, I know where you want to start. You start where you want, but. So we'll go ahead and start with the NRG wheel that's right here. So right here, this is a NRG wheel. That is a prototype. And this right here is a one-off right now. Yeah, it's a, a custom one just, yeah. just for you. Custom just for me with uh, Team Hybrid and NRG working together. We have the Team Hybrid logo and the SEMA logo etched in. And I you know, love that. we're at SEMA, so yeah, let's, let's do it a little big. 
And of I course, did. I went with purple just to give it a little color splash. It's the only purple in the entire car. I just figured I wanted that part of the car to pop. <laughs> wow. Over here in the middle here, I have a 271 shift knob and it is weighted. So versus the stock shift knob, it just feels like much more solid when I'm okay. shifting. Wow, that's gotta be a feel really solid because I thought the, the original one was solid. That's gotta be, wow. Yes. And then I have an energy air freshener, of course, because I, you gotta <laughs> keep it fresh. There you go. <laughs> I went with the air freshener. That is their quick disconnect. But you oh, know, I, like I got to keep it classic. I like it. This one's ran out, but I like the whole cop of leaf, you know. I so. like it. That's a quick disconnect one, though. That, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's hilarious. And Someone you can pull it out and get disconnected if you want to. HFP formats, which are you know stock, not stock from Honda, but available through Honda. Okay. And uh, let's see you got energy uh, yeah. uh, padding. The NRG harness pads right here, which are very comfortable. When you are driving through those turns, this car is very planted thanks to many things done to it. But those pads just feel great compared to not having them on there. Now, back here with this with this bar back here with the seat belts attached to it. Yeah, so that's that, different than stock. Yeah, that one is a cipher harness bar. I know it has a Takata sticker, but it is a cipher bar with Takata harnesses, and of course those harnesses are wrapped around with the NRG yep. harness pads. Yep. Oh uh, and I, I like that. And for the most part, that, that's the whole interior. Okay. Um, down the sides of the car, I added these authentic Mugen visors. And one thing I do like about the Mugens versus others, if you could kind of just go down a little oh, bit. I see that. There's this rubber lip right here. And because of this rubber lip, when you're driving in the rain, you can crack your window to here and the wind doesn't, I mean, the rain doesn't, it doesn't right up and in. Up there. So you can actually drive with your windows cracked in the rain, like how you should be able to do. Nice. I don't think, I don't think I've ever seen that before. That rubber strip. So around back here, you probably know this bright red hook. Just yep. Same one that's in the front. In the front, yep. Cusco tow hooks in the front and back because I want to go with quality parts on this vehicle. Um, there's a BM spec arrow in the back here, which is the same brand as the arrow I'm running in the front. Okay. And what I like about BM spec is their arrow is functional. It's not just for flash or looks. Okay. This arrow plus the front arrow both produce 150 pounds of downforce. Really? So the faster you go, the lower it goes. And, wow. And you can see right here, I went with a Remus exhaust. Yeah. I like that they kept the three tips, you know, kind of like, you know, yep, the like original. the stock exhaust. Mm -hmm. These are uh, full carbon fiber tips as well. And what I liked about Remus is a three inch pipe all the way back. And it just sounds beautiful. Oh. <laughs> yes. Your car breathes good and sounds good. <laughs> there are days you just want to start it up yes. just to hear it. <laughs> never done a type r yet so i asked him would you mind doing one for my car and he agreed and i said can you do it in red he said sure we can do it in it's red it's a red and black yeah. yeah and this is sturdy like it's this not going street. anywhere it's riveted in wow it's not a glue in or anything like that oh man that that, that is that is beautiful so under the hood here Oh, we have man. the engine intake. As you can tell, I did not get a chance to clean it when I arrived. Oh, well, that's all right. That shows it's been used, right? This Which is what a driven. car should be. Yes. And right here, the Cusco front strut bar. Yep. Uh, besides those two, that's pretty much uh, all I've done underneath the hood. I only started building this car in February, so I got, I got a ways incredible. to go, but I'm, you know, trying to that make sure is everything is polished. a lot of... You've done a lot of work in, in that short of... You know, is that short of... So, um, down the road... Mm -hmm. What, do you, what sort of future plans do you have for this? Basically, uh, if you haven't seen my car in three to six months, there's always going to be something That's done. something done to it. I'm just going to keep evolving it until you can't evolve it any further. And at every point in my build here, I want to make sure that it's always something my dad would have been proud of. Let's talk about that for a minute, because, you know, this is uh, it's a little emotional for, for you. It's a little yes. emotional for me to talk about. It's, you know, this is a father-son thing. Mm -hmm. um, this is something your father always wanted to do. We talked about cars a lot when I was a kid, you know, we worked yep. on his Nova together and he wasn't really a car guy, but he appreciated how, you know, everything about cars. And he taught me an okay amount for not being a mechanic, Bro, you know? Wow. <laughs> yeah. And, and he wanted me to know how everything works as far as he knows. And from mm -hmm. there I could learn more. And so you, you, you kind of, kind of started this a little bit in, in, in a way to, to, to honor him. Yes. In, in, in remembrance of him maybe. Yeah. It's a memorial build to my dad. You know, 
he would be extremely proud, I'm sure. I do not know your father, but I you have you done. <laughs> you've done a beautiful job, Mike. You really have. You put it, it's it's evident to tell that you put a lot of love in, I have. In, in, into what you did. And I want to make sure it's always a clean look because my dad would not like it if I made it look obnoxious. <laughs> it my, does. my dad is old fashioned. It, you know? it, lo it looks clean. I mean, just I mean, it's, I absolutely love everything you've done on here. It's just it's got a. This is an eye catcher going down the road. Thank you. And I'm sure it'd be a, a whole lot more eye catcher inside the ride. Yes. So um, there was a lot of wheel hop when I first got it, as you guys probably saw yep. when you test drove one. So I changed it out from the stock Honda rear motor mount to a 271 rear motor mount. And that rear motor mount is amazing. I changed that and shortly after did the wheels and tires and those three things combined made this feel like a whole nother car. Now the next level from that handling wise yep. is we just recently put in some white line parts they're one of my newest sponsors okay along with NRG and some other companies um, and we also did a Honda data tune on this car oh wow. so we're tuned on Honda data right now yep. as well as running the white line uh, rear sway bar okay uh, adjustable toe arms and end links and the next thing from white line we're putting in is the front sway bar which you have to drop what, the subframe yep, to do to do which is that that's that's a major piece of work to put a yes a man oh so Mike, one of the things I noticed, and everyone's gonna see right away, is all of the names that you have on your car. So you've got some sponsorships. So I tell do. us tell us about those. So all these sponsorships here are great opportunities, and I appreciate all the opportunities that I've been given, but none of these opportunities would have happened without Team Hybrid. I joined Team Hybrid in February and started aggressively building my vehicle because I wanted it to be one that my dad would be proud of, and Team Hybrid has helped me achieve my dream. When I got accepted into SEMA, it was my dream because this is my first year building and I listed a bunch of shows I would like to get yeah. into. You know, some have stricter rules to get in, yeah. like SEMA. Yep. So when I got accepted, I was genuinely shocked. That's just me. <laughs> that, yeah, right. Yeah, you think that can happen to me? But, it, but it's beautiful and you, and you certainly deserve to be here. That is just awesome, Mike. Thank you. Let me ask you one final question. Okay. What would be your favorite thing about this car? If you had to pick one or two. My favorite thing is actually not a part or a modification. Okay. My favorite thing is that every time I look at this car or drive it, it reminds me of my dad. Awesome. I can't say anything more to top that. Mike, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.